Hey guys, Sorin here. So it's settled. The SSD is the modern way to store data. It's faster and arguably it's also more safer. It has an impact resistance. It doesn't get ruined so fast like a traditional HHD or hard disk drive. So the SSD is the way to go. But when shopping for one, you might have seen acronyms such as SLC, MLC, TLC and QLC. What the hell do these mean? It's easy, it refers to the number of bit stores in a cell from that SSD. Let's take a step back. The main components of an SSD, apart from the connector, the housing and all that fancy stuff, is the controller, the NAND chips, the chips that store the data, and some faster SSDs have DDR memory also, in order to help speed up the moving of data. Okay, these NAND chips have cells in them and each cell holds bits in it. Bits that are activated or not using an electrical impulse. The way that these bits are ordered in the memory cell determine what kind of cell that is, an SLC, an MLC and so on. Knowing this we can talk about each of the types. SLC, it's a single level cell. It's mostly used in enterprise drives as it's very expensive and it doesn't have such a big capacity due to holding only one bit per cell. So that means that it's not quite feasible for an end user, a normal user, a gamer or programmer to buy such drives. And not very practical if you ask me. We don't need that kind of server enterprise grade hardware. The MLC stores two bits per cell. That means it's cheaper to manufacture can hold more data and it's cheaper to buy. It's also a bit, but only a bit less reliable as in how much that data can be written to it before the SSD dies. That's honestly just not an issue with modern drives, just not. You can't write that much data in order to ruin it, even if you use it for work. If you're a programmer, a graphic designer, whatever. Next type is the TLC, the triple level cell. This is the name gives it away. Holding three bits per cell. It's a bit slower, it's a bit less reliable. Again, this is based on data, not how much you will humanly be able to use it. Comparing to the first one, we, I must say that it's less reliable. And it's cheaper. This is great for gaming, for work usage, even office usage, as is it's quite cheap. I mean, you can find a five, you can find a 500 gigabyte SSD drive quite cheaply nowadays. And the fourth type is the QLC. The Q stands for quad, so we have four bits per cell. Mind you, older QLC drives were not so reliable. This is, this was a real concern, but the newer ones that have 3D NAND, check for that before you buy, are very reliable and very safe to use as a NAS as a backup drive, or arguably being so cheap, you can even use them as your primary drive. It's very fast compared to a traditional hard disk, so it's safe to use. Knowing this, I'd recommend you to buy a TLC drive, a triple level cell, or an MLC if your budget can hold it, and if you just want to store a lot of data, go for a QLC drive. You can now go shop for your favorite SSD, pick a good brand, a capacity high enough and have fun. If this video was helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and tell me what other types of what other topics in videos like this would you like to discuss in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.